everyone, welcome back. Um, my name is Emily. I'm Stephanie. And today we're going to be talking about Girls in the Moon. It's Stephanie's uh, January pick for Book of the Month. Mm -hmm. And it's a book about girls, music, and boys. Enjoy! So like our other book reviews, we're doing the first impressions. Um, my, my impression for this book is this one, like the sad face one. Not because I didn't dislike the book that much, but I didn't like it. Um, it was a little disappointing for me overall, so I think this is the only one that really qualifies as an acceptable emoji in this case. <laughs> so I'm actually going to do a little interesting thing with this emoji. I'm going to put it a little bit more in the middle because it looks <laughs> neutral. <laughs> I actually covered okay. my face here um, because I generally have the same opinion as you. Mm -hmm. I didn't really like the book um, particularly. A lot of it was, it had a lot of like plateau moments and not mm -hmm. much peaks right. in terms of the narrative and the characters weren't distinctive enough for me to really understand why they were written in the first place because mm -hmm. um, it's really just about like the author's love of music and it felt like a little bit that she forgot that it was supposed to be more of a journey than like a song. So our first question for the book is um, really about do you feel like it's right to kind of go against um, what your parents kind of tell you to do? I feel like um, going against your parents, I feel like as an Asian child my parents wish us were more like um, you know, study well, do well in school, um, work hard, make sure you have a career out of yourself because, you know, what happens when they get old, like, you need to take care of yourself, basically, is what it is. So they weren't, they, I mean, of course, but my parents also backed me up in terms of, like, if I wanted to do music or art or something like that, I think they would have been okay with it. Um, but, like, I was never really into that particular aspect anyway, so it didn't really um, influence me too much. For me, I, I generally read the book um, as kind of like a testament to when I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. A lot of things that I had to go through, my parents did not like at no. all. <laughs> I, think, I think as, like, kids, we've all been through, like, rebellious stages. You yeah, know, like that's I would true. like watch TV or like watch TV shows like my K drama love when I was younger, and my parents would be like, "What are you watching? Like, why are you spending this time? Like, blah blah blah." And then I'll be like reading, and obviously they're like, "Well, what are you doing? Your time you should be studying." So like it was like, I mean that was the extent of my rebellious stage. <laughs> <laughs> I was not a very rebellious kid, I guess, in like um, other people's standards. Contrary to the theme of this book, um, my rebellion mostly came from music because my parents, um, regardless of the stereotype, completely fits it, um, wanted me to play the violin. Mm -hmm. And then I did not want to play the violin. I wanted it to do like art, painting, and I guess in terms of their point of view, they were like, you can only do one or the other, and they chose for me. So. Um, parents in their control and um, so when it came down to it uh, I think my experience with my parents were really different um, mm -hmm. a lot of it was trying to like I guess I still wanted to sort of learn something because it was like being paid and it, w it was like even though it was music I did enjoy other people playing music I just right. didn't enjoy it when I played it <laughs> same <laughs> I know like some of the like, music instruments I played was, like, was my choice but I definitely didn't like it too much after a while I was like it was just more of a like the experience, you know. Once I got that experience, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm done, you know. Yeah. And then my parents were like, well, we started, so you started, you chose this instrument, so you gotta continue. Yeah, they <laughs> they did not get that. Overall, how did you actually feel about the book? Um, I felt okay. So basically, the premise is this: um, as uh, basically, it's Phoebe and her parents, where her mother and father are basically like rock stars, like former rock stars. Um, they're really famous. Everyone knew who they were. And then there's Phoebe and her sister. So we kind of talk about how Phoebe and her sister are trying to, whether deciding whether or not to follow in their parents' footsteps because um, the father is still like pretty well known. He's still playing and whatnot. Whereas the mother kind of has left the whole you know scene, scene the whole scene because she was like, I'm done with this. Um, I want out of this. So you can really see the difference between Phoebe and, and her sister deciding which path to follow really and like how it distinguished and defines their own future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think part of um, what really fascinates me in what could have fascinated me in this book mm -hmm. was the question about um, how much are you really willing to give up for fame? And right. I think yeah. that that's actually the general thesis of, of it all because you can see like there's one example where 
the father who didn't mm -hmm. really get to be a father because he had all these dreams that right. wasn't really elaborated in the book actually. Yeah. And then you have the foil, which is the mother who chose to completely reject mm -hmm. um, everything that she worked so hard for um, right. at the end after she had her second child, Phoebe. Yeah. And she takes them completely away from New York City uh, and goes to live upstate. Right. And then you then have the two remaining char main characters, which is Phoebe, the the outsider. She basically has outsider status because mm. she, uh, in her entire musical family, she's the only one who doesn't really relate to yeah, like, she performance art. So her mother is a singer, and the father yeah. is like the the guitar player, I think. Yeah. So. Um, her sis, Phoebe's sister, yeah. I forget her name. Now, Luna. Luna, she the had the voice. Time. She yeah. had like the perfect, her mother's voice. She got that gene. Whereas Phoebe didn't really get any musical talents. Yeah. So that's why she used the outsider. Yeah, and then as she, as Stephanie mentioned, the last remaining character was Luna. And um, the, the, the relationship between Luna and Phoebe are, is, is slightly interesting because of the fact that uh, Phoebe does go into a lot of detail in the, in the book of how she always feels like her older sister outshines her. Mm -hmm. So that yeah. that's really interesting in, in my regards, yeah. um, mostly because like you know like when you have siblings that always have kind of that kind of mm -hmm. happens. That's sort right, of especially rivalry. if they have some sort of like talent that you don't have and that yeah. supposedly runs in the family. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of like okay, well, like my my dad's good at this, my mom's good at this, my sister's good at this too. It's all music talents, and I'm like question mark. Yeah, like I'm not good at anything. So yeah, this is like what am I good at? Then, but then eventually at the end of the book, I guess that's kind of like um, the 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 appropriate ending. She kind of mm -hmm. finds a little bit of what she is good at herself that mm -hmm. separates her from her family identity, and uh, I guess that's why the book ended there. But yeah, I'm not gonna list any spoilers there. No. Um, but yeah, I think. What did you think about overall, like the fame? portion of the book did you feel like so I thought it was interesting to see her so one, the one thing I really like this book actually was the fact that um, not only does it have Phoebe's perspective it also talks about her mother's perspective mm -hmm. and it's scattered throughout the book and they're all dated back when you know when she was actually famous and you can see her perspective on why she thought the fame was getting too much um, her reactions to it and the, why she made the decision her ultimate decision to kind of leave the scene so I really like that aspect because you really got to understand you know the downside of fame so I feel like these days you see you know like oh my god like they're famous um, everyone one knows them like you also you don't see the good part of it you don't mm -hmm. really see the downside of it and I think this book covered it really well in terms of like her mother's perspective and why she decided to leave the fa like, the fame the celebrity life yeah I, I doesn't say that the book emphasizes that fame is really um, a fortune for the youth but mm -hmm. it's like it's really a bane for those who um, are trying to like mature into right. different roles I'm actually really struggling to um, talk more about this book just because of the fact that a lot of it was like kind of cliche mm -hmm. um there were certain things that like even the conclusion didn't really feel con conclusive right <laughs> like i i mean like all these questions aside like um it, it was it is really hard to just mention like a little bit more about the story than I, I we already have. It's mm -hmm. it's a uh, it's a book that we if you're a music fan we definitely encourage you to read it mm -hmm. because there's so many references in it. But again, like um, like I said, it reads much more like a very prolonged song mm -hmm. yeah. than um, a complete narrative. Right, right. Yeah, I was I was not particularly um, happy about this book when I finished it. Um, like please, because I don't know my book of the month books have. Usually they're like pretty good, but still not kind of like uh, like it could have been so much better. Like it wasn't like a bad book. Um, I've gotten one that I was just like, no, this is like a terrible. It was just more like it was my first time, so I was just like, I didn't. I wanted to pick something completely different, and it was not a good experience. So this one was YA, and I was like, oh YA, like that. You totally, went safe. Yeah, I went, I went safe, <laughs> and, and it, didn't, it didn't go so safe. <laughs> that was so well. You were so safe. No, no. You weren't safe. <laughs> this wasn't safe. This was, you said it was YA. Yeah, it was, but it was just like, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we're in consensus here. All right. Yeah. So our final thoughts for this book is, I am still this. Um, mainly because I, I mean, like I said, like I wasn't particularly satisfied with this book or pleased with it. And yeah.
mine is still this maybe leaning more towards this actually now <laughs> because um yeah i i i mean for all the questions i asked like mm -hmm. in the end the the book itself was still a hard read <laughs> and <laughs> it was still a hard read not in, not in terms of writing style but in terms of just trying to understand what was the point mm -hmm. of keeping up with the music and getting to know the characters. Really only Luna kind of stood out to me um, as um, a figure that I would really remember after closing um, closing up. But even she was a little cliched and um, a little like, you know, over, overdone. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so that was my reaction. So that's it for today in terms of discussing the book. Um, if you want to buy the book and uh, listen to the book through a uh, VA audiobook, please check out the links below. Um, also, if you want to hear about other people's uh, opinions about the story as well as read more about the synopsis of the, of the whole um, novel, you can also check out the Goodreads as well as Stephanie's blog. Yes, I'll have my uh, my review on the bottom as well. And then also, not about this book, completely irrelevant, but I have a giveaways uh, on my blog right now that you check out. Um, I think it runs until May 1st, and you can win up to 10 books. So check it out. I'll include a link below. And yeah, that's it. What were those books about? Oh, the books are just, like, there are a bunch of different books. They're like YA, thriller, etc. Et there's, there's different genres. There's no specific. I try to make sure that um, the pack of books I, I give away are usually well-rounded. So if you only like YA, there are YA books there for you. If you only like contemporary books, then there are contemporary novels in there for you as well. So I try to make it, you know, diverse. Yay, cool. But anyways, that's it for today, guys. See you guys. Bye. Bye.